To set up Firebase in Flutter, first we have to go to firebase.console and click on create project. Here you can give any name, so in my case I'm gonna give this name and click on continue. Make sure you disable Google Analytics for this project and click on create project. Once your Firebase project is ready, click on continue. And next we have to click on this Flutter icon. And here you have to install some installations like Workplace, Flutter's Fire CLI and plugins. First we have to install Flutter Firebase CLI and then we have to run Firebase login. So I have already installed Firebase CLI so if I run Firebase login you will see my account as you can see. So make sure you first log in to your Firebase account and then you have to install Flutter SDK. I have already done this step as well and finally we have to create a Flutter project. Here you can see I have already created Flutter project and it's now running on emulator. So we can click on next. Next we need to install and run Flutter Fire CLI. First command is dart pop global activate Flutter Fire CLI. I'm gonna copy and paste it here and then run it. Next we need to copy the second command which is Flutter Fire configure project and your project ID. I'm going to paste it here now and enter and here we have to select the platforms. If you wait a bit you will, it will ask you which platform should your configuration support like Android, iOS, macOS, web and Windows. In my case I only need Android and iOS. If you need web you can also select this. So I'm gonna disable the other three and click on enter. So once it's done, inside a lib folder you will see the new file called firebaseoptions.dart and by default you will see this error. You can see this is showing this error because we don't have this package yet, firebase core. So we can go to terminal and run flutter pop at firebase underscore core. Click on enter and this error will go away because this will install the Flutter Firebase core package. So you have to wait a bit. Next we need to go, go back to Firebase console and click on continue. Here we have the initialize Firebase and add plugins. So here we have the import this Firebase options and Firebase core. And here we have the initialize app. Let me copy this and click on continue to console. And if I go back to the Flutter project if I go to main.dart and here before the void main app I'm going to paste it and we can copy this part await firebase.initialize app and inside void main function I'm gonna paste it but still we will see this await error because we have to add a async after this main and this will disappear but before this we need to add one more thing which is widget flutter binding dot ensure initialize it and semicolon once we are done we have to go back to the terminal again and we, we need to install one more package which is flutter pop at cloud firestore after that if you go to the android folder inside the app we have a build.gradle if you go to the bottom you will see the default config as you can see make sure you go to android folder app folder and this app level build.gravel not the project level so inside that you will see default config and here make sure to change min sdk version to 21 and we also need to enable multi dax enable it true after adding the after adding this multidex enable it true, we can go back to the main.dart and let's go back to the terminal again and run the command which is flutter fire configure and make sure to say no and then again no because we have to select the project again. In my case, this will show me the list of 
Firebase projects. You can see these are all my Firebase projects. So I'm going to select the last one that we have created together, which was Oybek Shina. And here again, I'm going to disable the, the platforms that I don't want to configure. I only need Android and iOS. Click on enter. Once it's done, stop the Flutter project running on emulator and I'm going to run the project again. And if I go to the debug console and if I see any errors in my debug console, that means I have a problems with setting up Firebase in Flutter. If I don't see any problems after going through all these steps, that means we have successfully set up Firebase in our Flutter application. Now, as you can see, we have successfully set up Firebase in our Flutter application. That's all about it. I will see you in the next videos.